We're going to start out with a little tutorial today just to give you an overview on how to do a kind of a slideshow within Adobe Lightroom and have a little bit different twist on it because we're going to use an actual image to project our pictures um, simulated through it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have my pictures here selected within Lightroom and I'm going to switch over to uh, Photoshop to show you our custom image that we're going to use in the slideshow mode. Over here I have a uh, picture that I took of just a, you know, a frame with a mat and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the white on the outside, I'm going to take the magic wand, I'm going to come over in here and I'm going to click on the outside border, it's going to select this area, I'm going to hold the shift key down, I'm going to pick inside here where the inside of the mat is at. With both areas selected I'm just going to go ahead and hit the delete key and that's going to uh, remove those white selected areas and you know within Photoshop when you see checkerboard pattern like this it's transparent so now I'm going to save out this file and I'm going to bring it back into Lightroom and use it in my slideshow mode so let's switch over to Lightroom now I'm in Lightroom here I have all my pictures I want to put into my slideshow so I'm going to go up to the upper right and I'm going to go into the slideshow mode. At this point in time, um, the pictures are positioned in the layout. I have them centered on the screen. You can see down here in the lower right, I have a little identity plate that's going to show up when the slideshow plays. So let me just show you a little um, preview of how this would look. You can see here it's just going to cycle through the pictures and you can set up on the right hand side you know the timing of the pictures, the border, shadows and so on and so forth. And this is you know is really easy to do. So now what I'm going to do to make this unique is I'm going to escape or get out of the slideshow mode and I'm going to go up and I'm going to go into my identity plate area here and I'm going to come down to edit. In this image or identity plate area editor I should say I have a button here to use a graphical identity plate. I'm going to locate that file and we're going to go out and look for the um, gallery frame that we used in Photoshop. So I'm going to bring this in and it's kind of small and I'm going to position it here kind of in the center of my screen. I'm going to go over to my right hand side in the identity plate area and I'm going to click on the scale and I'm going to scale this up to 100%. I'm going to kind of jockey it around here, kind of position it where I'd like to have it. Uh, I can actually size it right here on the screen. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And what I'm doing is just trying to get this matte size to kind of match my picture size. So I'll move it around here and that looks pretty good right there. Now, that's really the only thing I have to do. If I wanted to double check this, I could select the um, identity plate picture I brought in, come over to the right, and I actually can change the opacity of it. And that would also kind of help me see where I would need to position my picture. So I think we look pretty good here. Let's move it around a little bit. And there we've got it. We'll bring the opacity back up to 100% and really we're all done. I'm just going to come down here and pick play and it's going to play those pictures through that actual matted frame. It's a very attractive way to display your pictures. I'm going to go ahead and hit the escape key to get out of the slideshow mode. Let me bring in another little um, identity plate quote unquote graphic that I'm going to use in addition to like this frame. I'm going to come over here to edit. I'm going to come over here to uh, locate the file and I just have a, a picture of an old-fashioned TV. So I'm going to bring the TV image in, pick choose, and basically the same function here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move this around a little bit so I can see what I have and maybe I'll make this a little, little bit bigger. Uh, there also is a button over here on the upper right to render the actual identity plate behind the picture. So this gives me a little bit maybe better idea on how to position it also. 
So I think we're in pretty good shape there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring the rendering off so it brings the TV in front and go right back to play. And again, this is kind of a unique way to see the pictures. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. This is, again, just a simple uh, tip to go in and use an image with a transparent center and a background. Bring it into Lightroom. Use it as a kind of a custom identity plate. And using that identity plate a little bit differently than normal.